So when anyone walks off of the seventh floor, they come down the ramp and they see your pictures. Oh, wow. Wow, so this is the one, wow. How big is that? Um, I believe that wall is at least 17 feet wide. Uh -huh. wide. <laughs> wow. So we made it really big. Yeah, you told me. I didn't think it was going to be that big. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you walk up to the exhibit, mm -hmm. of course, the first thing you'll see is the Senate flag. Right. That was what was flying at half staff over okay. the Senate wing of the Capitol okay. um, for the entire month of mourning. You may be able to show us on the map where you were standing. Yes. When you were taking yes. all those pictures. I can. Where were you? Um, <clears throat> it depends on what's. It was above First Avenue, so it, it could well have been here. There was. The reason I, po I took that spot was because it was up an incline, so mm -hmm. I could get the great perspective down the hill. And I like how even in this close-up shot, yeah. you can still get a sense of the crowd. Yeah. So when I really started to look at these a few years ago, I was like, wow. I mean, down to the, the hardware on the caisson, and this is a flash of a moment that I took. So then we move over this way, you'll see again and again images of JFK yeah, Jr. saluting, right, saluting right. in the lithograph and the figurines right, and um, right. the poem and the wax figures. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of stuff here. That wow. I remember I had uh, this faint image of John Jr. John Jr. But I didn't know. So this is Lady Bird Johnson Lady Bird and, Caroline. and Caroline. And then I would never have remembered, never would have remembered. But through, you know, a two days after an assassination, the presidential motorcade is going down the middle of Washington. The windows are open. Yeah. You know, I mean, it would never happen now. So that, but that allowed this thing. And, um, you know, it's when I started to really see and realize it was pretty special. It so. is. It's a great, it's a great way to end the exhibit too, because it's, um, you're rewarded for looking closely. Yeah. You find more things to think about. Right. Well, I'm mostly really, really pleased <laughs> that the uh, museum has, has undertaken to take them, keep them, archive them, and, and have them. And because I didn't know what was going to happen to them. And, you know, it's to see them this size and in this context, it's just, you know, it's stunning. It really takes me back. We're so uh, pleased. Yeah. <laughs> but I was talking earlier about how, how you folks deal with the sadness part on a daily basis is a sad thing. And every time I bring it up to people, I've got these pictures, but they're of a funeral. And it's like, oh, please. You know, so, you know, it's a, it's a credit to you to be able to keep this going in, in the community and in Dallas in particular. Um, so um, I'm, I'm pleased to be part of it. <laughs>